Hi guys! I'm going to show you in this video to create a header from scratch and for that we're going to copy this simple header, okay? So we'll make the exercise of create this header in another page. We're going to see how to create a new header with our Easy Builder module. Remember first of all that we can work with uh, two ways. We can create the header from the Easy Builder or we can create it from the template, Panda or Transformer in this case. In fact, you can even mix type of contents or type of uh, elements. In this case, the first row you see, well, first of all is for cookies, <laughs> fine. This one is the top bar and these are elements or blocks and modules hook to the top bar, but we don't want to work with this, but only the Easy Builder creator for header. This is a simple header. I'm going to erase these two blocks, these two sections. The third is the mega menu. It's not the ho the header, okay? It's mega menu. So from here down, it's not a header. We are working only with this section. I'm going to show you in this video to create a header from scratch. And for that, we're going to copy this simple header, okay? So we'll make the exercise of create this header in another page. So let's go. I'm going to my Easy Builder Manager. I have a list here. This is the header I have active. I'm going to deactivate it, just clicking status, okay? And when refresh the page, it will disappear, okay? We're just seeing the top bar. So we're going to deactivate, unactivate these sections, these blocks. They are multi-links, probably multi-link too. Yep. On card, login, search, and uh, multi-link. Yeah. So I have to open my modules manager too. And, well, custom links. And I'm going to configuration and put the status off for all that are in top bar. Okay. We have three top bar right, top bar left, top bar center. So if I refresh here, they will disappear. Only let this three. Okay. Going back to the module manager, and now I'm going to look for the shopping cart module, the search module, well, quick search, in fact, this one, and the login or sign in module, this one. I'm going to unhook them for, from the top bar, okay, and click save. So what I'm doing is erasing the top bar completely, okay? I'm going to unhook the search from top bar because the Easy Builder have an option for mobile. Fine. And refresh the page and it will disappear. Fine. First of all, you will need to detect which is the layout or the structure the page needs to use. In this case, we have two options. We can create the first row with three columns. There is an empty white column here in the center. You can see it. And a column in the left, another one in the right. The left column includes the logotype and the right column includes the icons. And the second row is only for Mega Menu. But we can uh, work with this layout or this one, all included in the same row. So I have the first option. Uh, we're going to create the second one. So I'm going to show you how to create the empty layout and how to fill it with the elements we need. In this case, we, we will need the logo type, mega menu, and icons. It's a very simple mega, uh, sorry, it's a very simple header. So, in our back office, we go again for to Easy Builder Manager. 
and we will need to create here a new element so uh, I have this one is this one is activated but I'm going to create the second so we can choose different layouts and work with them well uh, I need to choose hook not full width used to build a header you have here the instructions I will give a new name this is an internal new name only internal and status yes or no yes for now yes okay I have created the second option but I'm going to show you how is configured the first option which I have already active here fine it's a little different but quite similar I'm going to click on header this is my header I have created I have already created and as you can see I have an th one column two column three columns the third column is uh, itself divided in three more columns we can do this I will show you how this is an empty column and down I'm showing the mega menu this is the first option I remember okay so I have a very simple way to uh, create it I'm going to do it in the second option and later we will uh, edit it so let's go I need to deactivate first of all this header I will go back to the list and deactivate this header because I don't want to have two header only one mm -mm -mm. okay this is the original and this is the new one I'm going to refresh and no header only menu okay let's go to uh, <laughs> to refresh <laughs> this is the screen I will see when I have to create a new elements new sections in this case in header so I'm going to do it from scratch choose the structure or layout I want a three column structure but uh, different whites in this case I will use this one because I want a little logo and white center row to include the menu and right for little icons so now I'm going to click here to see the elements and I can look for logo say logo include it here you will have the image here you don't have to create any link because because it uh, is included that's already done I'm going to create this style it's black on the background so I'm going to edit the section and to say I want a background classic type and color black aha now I can see the logo type so I'm going to create a new section inside these uh, columns I go again here and I put an inner section mm -hmm. uh, and three columns so I have to duplicate to have three columns I have three columns empty here and I'm going to insert modules okay this is here in elements modules if you write here modules it will show header modules I click on here and drag and drop and now I choose the module I want to work with in this case is the search search bar yes let's go to see the original search the first second the card and third the sign in so search I'm going to include the card header module drag and drop and choose card shopping cart okay and third I'm going to look for header modules drag and drop and choose the sign sign in my account sign in okay this is it if I publish it 
and I want to have a look. This is what where, where, what I will see. In this case, I have already created my mega menu, but it's not inside the he the header. Okay. Even I can change the height of the header. I can do it here. I'm going to click in the header section or edit header section. I'm going to look for height. Uh, okay, you can uh, work with these options, full width or boxed, the height, uh, default fix the screen, whoa, <laughs> minimal height, I wanted to work with this height, you can align the elements and everything. I'm going to update and refresh the page so you will see the changes. Uh -huh. And now I'm going to convert this first menu in the second uh, possible menu, only including the menu module here. So I'm going to Elements, I'm going to look for Header Modules, drag and drop, and choose Menu. As simple as that. Obviously, I will need to configure it to, to fit in. So if I refresh, I will have double menu. <laughs> so I'm going to uh, stop showing this menu or hiding. Uh, I have to go to modules because I have created with the mega menu module, not in, in Easy Builder. Um, so I have to hooks and hook from, from display main menu because it is hooked. It is hooked to the header. That's it. Fine. Well, in this case, I will need to maybe uh, delete some of the links. Maybe WhatsApp. I can delete WhatsApp and as and include here. As an icon, a simple icon. Um, I can move the width of the columns, for example. Let's see what we can do. Uh, if I move it, of course, we can minimize these spaces between elements. So let's refresh the page and see the changes. Okay. Well, I will go to edit the options style option in menu because I can improve it edit header modules okay what I need to do now is go direct to this uh, section here in menu and choose uh, the font size aha get it for example Mm -hmm. And space between elements, where it is. Space between items, you have it here. Let's see. I'm going to save again. You see the changes, and WhatsApp is going out as soon as possible. Aha, uh -huh. I'm going to hide it or deactivate. And now I have a new header. So you can see the options are very nice, are very simple. Uh, for the icons, for example, if you want to change configuration, because maybe they will they won't show like this, you have to edit, you have to click in each module to edit it from the left. I'm going to edit the sign in module here I'm going to modules and search box the options uh, you know the standard option is this one so maybe the header the searching header is showing like this but in this case I only you will see you can see 
Okay, I only want to show the icon, so I could choose this option or this second one. Um, I prefer the last one, so I click and choose here. Okay, uh, icon plus text, it will take more space, I don't want it, so I'm going to leave like only icon. I can change the size of the icon, but better like that. I can choose the color here, uh, but maybe it's doing anything <laughs> because we can do it this in another place. In fact, we go into the editor again and go to search for colors, buttons, and header shopping cart icon for example we have to establish here the color as you can see here in the right is changing black white black white <laughs> you can see it fine uh, text color the same more white border color in the case I want a border Icon buttons, the same, fine. Hope you like it. If you like the video, uh, please click on like and subscribe to the channel to see the next videos. And you can share your own work, your own pages. Thank you so much.